they're slowly getting there. Like, they're better than they were with it. Where they, like... I, I remember... This was, like, really stupid when I found out. Where they said you activated uh, flat packs and then, like, hid to the fact that it was uh, that it was using theirs instead of flat hub. And, like, it showed it in a really weird way. Where it, like, sort of made you think it was flat hub, but it really wasn't. I don't remember exactly how they displayed it, but it was, it was really dumb. Oh, it was. I mean, it wasn't just dumb. That That is an understatement. It was a lot worse than that. Um... It was some like white li- uh, white list um thing. Mm. Wait, uh, let me try to find it. Uh, oops. Hmm. I think. Yeah, it's that. Okay. I sent a link. Yes. Yes. So it. it li- yeah. Yeah. They really denied everything by default except <laughs> seven packages or something. Mm-hmm. It's well seven apps. And, like, yeah, it was, uh, I'm telling you, like, there are some people, like, in the Fedora community that are just, like, it's just, like, talking to a brick wall. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember, like, some of them were saying, oh, well, you know, using FlatHub is a legal problem and all of that. Yet, they literally have fucking Minecraft enabled mm-hmm. or Teams, Discord, and all that. Like, Zoom, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like. You guys are literally allowing those apps and then saying that it's a legal risk. Like, mm-hmm. be consistent. <laughs> but yeah, it's... uh, And like, that was at the time when Discord wasn't even official. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's... Yeah. <laughs> right. Um... Yeah, it was just worse. But I'm glad they got rid of that. Now it's a lot better. But it still kind of sucks, in my opinion, because... Mm-hmm. uh. Fedora Flatpaks is prioritized, and you are getting a subpar experience, mm-hmm. which is, well, yeah, they're just repeating the same distro problem, middle person thing. Uh, but yeah, downstreams being downstreams. Fedora's a weird it, distro. It's funny, though, because... Yep. Yeah, it's, it's not just... Like, a lot of people are just like, oh, yeah, but it's just GNOME that has this problem where, you know, it's just, with KD, it's all fine. <laughs> Let me... <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, you did sure. interview... Uh, well, no, no, it's actually not just GNOME. It's, in many cases, it's also KDE. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm um, well aware. Yeah. No, that's what I'm laughing. Okay. <laughs> right, but it's not just KDE either. Mm. It's also in Rusty CL. Like, mm. you know, Rustical... Mm-hmm. Um, like Carol, like he keeps telling, like he often goes in rants and says, like you know, Debian and Ubuntu developers are so painful to work with <laughs> because they do it, they just do it wrong. Mm-hmm. And oh, this reminds, this reminds me of something. This, okay, what do we have? Like someone from GNOME said something like, it was absolute fire. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Oh, what's his name again? Oh, I cannot remember. Uh, okay, there we go. I know. Oh, man. So that was about fractal packaging. Um, Sorry? I'm just trying to... I don't think I recognize the name. Uh, he's one of the fractal developers, like fractal uh, the Matrix client for GNOME. Oh, okay, yes, 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 okay. Yeah. So, yeah, like, it's written in Rust. And Debian, as far as I know, they want to do their own thing with Rust, and so is Fedora and, I guess, Ubuntu as well. (laughs) It's not, like... Because, you know, Rust has its own way of packaging (laughs) or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Which uh, Fedora and... Well, it's not just Fedora, but in this case, Debian is... Altering, like, you know, they're doing completely differently. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, Alexander, like, right, in, like, here, he was just like, I'm just glad that Debian people are, like, suffering from it because, like, 
he doesn't want to deal with it, and that's yeah, completely the, fair. The actual quote for anyone listening yeah. is, I'm so glad Debian is facing such difficulties packaging it. You have no idea. Now, since our intention was clearly stated at the beginning, you failed to understand it and kept debating this. As far as I'm concerned, this was the last message I will see from you. Good day, sir. <laughs> That's such a good comment. <laughs> yeah, it's absolute fire. <laughs> but yeah, it's um like yeah, um it's it's not just GNOME, like let me tell you that. It's Rustical is one of the, one of them and I think there is this old X screen saver thing as mm-hmm. well. Is it the uh, Debian uh, deleting yeah. the, the thing saying, hey, yes, I did a video on this, um, where JWZ was like, hey, Debian, please stop shipping an outdated version, and they're like, yeah, we're going to delete the message. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I mean, yeah, 